Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We want to thank you for coming back. We really appreciate it. Um, yesterday, we just threw the running board sheet metal down on top of where it's supposed to go. Today, we're going to try to finish this bad boy up so you can see what it looks like. Uh, you can see that the, the barrel or the back here has been shined up. I used this bad boy here uh, i got it from the eastwood company it's got a stripper wheel on it. it's about four inches wide then i used the stripper wheel on the drill and uh, that has that has taken all that rust off and i have to do that before we apply any kind of primer or any epoxy or anything that we're going to apply to it filler anything it has to be cleaned off the metal has to be sanded and and that's where we're going but today we're going to do the back fender we might even do the other back fender and we're going to apply the sheet metal. So you stick with us. We're going to get done what we can get done in the short amount of time that we always do. And then uh, we'll have a little visual uh, to sit back and take a look at. We might even let the front end down. We'll see how much I get done. I'm just going to get the grinder ready here. Probably could have got everything a little more ready going on. But uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a pattern. I had to do the running board first because the metal from the fender is going to run down on top of the running board and uh, we're going to do a pattern for this back fender you know exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to get myself a piece of bristol board and what i'm going to do is is i'm going to use the bristol board from the pattern of yesterday i had a straight edge on uh, one side and that's what i'm going to use I'm going to make and make a straight edge on the bottom. We got a straight edge going on the the running board, and I'm going to make a cut that straight. Get that going first. I'm going to use. I guess it doesn't much matter. I'm just going to use my uh, square here to get a. I'm going to run it straight with the paper. We'll get a straight edge going. I'm thinking that that will be. Uh, where it goes on, down on top of the running board. I must have put my scissors back, cleaned up a little bit. So we're gonna make the back fender. The reason I like making patterns first because I find it's easier to cut a piece of paper than it is to shear off a piece of metal and have it wrong. Uh, when I'm doing the paper, if there's a mistake or anything like that, it's an easy fix. I'm going to use a straight edge for one side of the fender. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but beautiful. Going to the high part of the exhaust pipe. And I would say that's the middle of the exhaust pipe. Going to the high part. So going down like that. I'm going to tape that along there. The reason being is I get a better read if I tape it down. It's down there tight and right. Ooh, that's nice. We'll pull this back. Feels good, looks good. Now we're gonna draw the other side. Take my scissors and cut it probably. Excuse me, sweetheart. I'm just gonna cut this around here. Our friend Lori, Lori Layton was in just earlier. It was good to see him in. He was in to take a look at the building. Uh, we're a little, we're a little shy there. We're a little bit shy. I should not have cut. So what's going to happen is I am going to add. I'm up. I'm, I'm good here, but I'm going to add some here. On, when I make the pattern or when I make um, the cut on the sheet metal. Now I'm good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to add a little bit like that. And use the tape. So when I pull this off, I'm going to leave that tape on there and that tape's going to be my new uh, line for my pattern. So that's a, that's a 
very simple fix. Simple fix. Like I said, if it would have cut metal, I would have had a problem already. So I'm going to mark it center here. I'm going to, I, f I can feel where center is, obviously. Or I'm hoping I can. Highest part is what I want, so I'm going to go there. So I got it from there to there to there. We'll use a straight edge for that. This tape can come off. This tape can come off. I'm hoping that this pattern will do both sides. Hoping. I'm going to pull, leave this tape on on the back side here. Because we want that, because I messed that up. Lay this down on the floor. Got to get a ruler. So it's just going to be nice to be able to walk around the truck and see it with its fenders on, its running boards on, uh, everything completed. Well, not everything completed, but everything in place. Is what I'm saying. Everything in place. Ooh, look at that now, would you? Let's do that. See a little bit of difference going on there. I don't know what the difference is, but I don't know. It should be going with that. Pair of scissors. was Lori's wife's birthday today. All right, there we go there. That looks good. That looks good. Doesn't look as good as you though, Joey. But it looks good. Let's bring this down some. Got a little bit of a gap going on one side of this here, have we not? Not an issue though, I don't think. Not an issue. And the reason being is Get the metal we need. Fits good. Now, is it four feet? This is four feet this way. It's not four feet. All right, we should have a straight edge going this way. I'm gonna wipe that off. Kicking things around, I am kicking things around. So we got. I'm going to use the straight edge if it's straight. Good. Awesome. Not bad. Got a little bit of going on there. But that's okay. What I'm going to do straight, I'll straighten that off of the flapper wheel. I put my marker down somewhere. Gonna draw that's a straight line on this paper I'm thinking. It's not really worth getting the zip cut out for, but it is worth the flapper wheel. 
Now we're, we're a little bit shy on this edge, were we not? So I'm just going to this edge fit nice. Let's add a little bit there. Plain markers, that's all I'm doing. That's the tape I added for the extra piece out on the end of it where it was shy, where I cut it shy. Alrighty. One fender. Ah, 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 ah. We're going to lay this pattern right here for a second. I'm going to zip cut that off. You can turn your TV down if you like. If your wife is watching, you don't want to bother. Just turn the TV down for a second. Just take me a minute. I keep saying that I'm going to get them them shears. We got the shears from uh, from somebody that sent them in, and it broke a tooth off one of them. And that's basically probably what happens to them. That's why they're selling them very reasonable them on I'm even gonna put my headphones on for this one real quick It'll just take me a quick minute to cut that off you can wear headphones with glasses but it's hard to wear the mask with the glasses Got to shear, clean it up a little bit. Got a little black line going on this side. Just going to set it back so it's nice and straight.
clean her up before I put it on. Oh, need some power on that. So it does not, it, it polishes metal, peels off rust, peels off paint, does it all. Before I put that on, I have to put the running board on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but let's apply the running board. Alrighty. This is what I'm going to do. On this part here, we have a piece of one inch on a one eighth flange welded on this. We're going to spot weld this part down and we'll spot weld this on the outside. So we're just going to Put a couple holes in this bad boy. Just kind of doing it by eye. Not going to measure them. I find the more the more that you do by eye, the better you get at it. You know, the more you practice it, obviously, the more better you get at it. So I'm just going to do that. Let's put some holes in that. I've got this end that I want to cut off. I'll just cut that off. I don't need that. I'm not going to cut that off without being plugged in. I can tell you that for sure. Positively, for sure. Let's cut this end off. just didn't feel like that end was in the center of the exhaust or the I keep calling the exhaust pipe but now it's a running board I probably get people confused thinking that the exhaust is running through this but it's not the exhaust is right here and I've just used exhaust pipe for framework stop it now um, I'm gonna have to unplug them all anyways it doesn't matter which one I unplug but I'm gonna have to take that one It's nice to take off take off that edge because when you apply it to, and put it down on um, what can I say you're gonna use a hole punch I bought that at Princess Auto and I'm just gonna use it to punch the hole um, I don't I do not find that these make a big enough hole uh, for spot welding anything on so I do not suggest um, using these to make the hole to spot weld on because I don't find it's big enough but I don't, I don't mind using it to begin the hole. Um, so I, I don't have to use the drill to begin the hole. I'll just use this tool. And I got a mark on there for, for a guide of where I want it. Much easier than starting the drill. Much easier than starting the drill. So I'm just punching the hole in with this. And then I'll, oh, then I'll wind the hole out a little bit more with the drill. Ah, stop it, last one. Alrighty. Now I've got the hole punched. Now let's wind it out a little bit with a drill. Haven't bought a new drill yet. Haven't had to go anywhere, so that's fantastic. If you don't know it or not, but uh, I, do, I do not like leaving the shop. Um, I do not like leaving the shop when I'm doing something. I like to just use what I have generally if I can. Um, if I have to go somewhere, then I will uh, try to pick something up. I, I, 
I do not like leaving the shop. Sometimes it dictates how things are made and built here because I will not, I do not want to take off to go get something um, to use. I'll just use what I have. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. That's just the way it is sometimes. Um, like, like some of the, the choices of material that I'm using is, is basically um, from what I have. Not bad. So we'll go a little too big. One, two, three. I'll go with that one. So I'm just going down three layers. One, two, three. Then every hole will be the same. One, two, three. Little bigger hole for penetration. Or penetration just for allowing if I had to leave a little hole like that, you're barely you're barely even heating the metal up to fill that hole. So a little big there. must admit that was a lot quicker than trying to pre-drill all the holes. Now we're going to flatten that off uh, because we want it to lay flat. So on the back side, flatten it off. Anything laying on the back should hold it up. We want to flatten it right off. I generally, I generally do not like um, spot welding, do drilling holes and doing like that. But where it's laying on that flat piece there, I feel like spotting it on top, on the top edge, it'd be harder to grind it off and harder to deal with. So I am doing it this way this time. But generally I like doing it like that. And the reason being is I can see how it's penetrating. I can see, uh, what else can I see? see how it's penetrating and I find sometimes um, when you do that sometimes it'll jump up off on, on it'll jump off sometimes and the reason being is not penetrating the metal underneath good enough to stick to this and I have done that before flat and we got a nice cut going on there let's turn the welder on
Now I'm just going to spot everything on. Uh, four. To get everything rolling. Then we can visually step back and take a look and see what it looks like. I'm going to use my third arm in places. So I'm just going to grab it. Alrighty, putting this bad boy on. I just want to make sure I get it all in place, that's all. Basically. Don't want to go ahead. Oh, it's red. <laughs> We're good. So I'm going to nail that sucker on. That's that right, very first one. So what I'm doing there on the on the spot weld thing, I am I am holding it right on the center until the weld builds up far enough that it goes around and hits hits the, the sheet metal. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding it on far enough that it comes around and hits the sheet metal. Then we know I have penetrated uh, the metal underneath good enough to hold it. That's what I'm hoping. I'm doing fire spots because there's a lot of heat going on, me holding that one spot, but I'm basically holding the heat on the one inch uh, underneath. I try not to get waving it around too much because it'll 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 roll out and get it you want to see what I'm doing there there saying that we're good that's gonna hold that down on that part let's go around the outside edge and get it held down I'm hoping that I can weld the fender and the running board at the same time. So I've got one weld there. So I will fill, actually fill that full of weld on both there. I'm not going to fill it right this second, but what I'm going to say is I'm going to fill it when I weld it. And the reason being is, is I'd like to grind it off as one. If that makes sense. It'll just look better when it comes time to grind it off. It'll just look better. I'm gonna just keep rocking and rolling, run right down with it. I'm just gonna tack it all the way along the edge. Reason I'm using the third arm because I want to make sure it's down tight. And if it's under pressure, do not let off the third arm until the red goes away. If you let off before the red goes away. It could pop back up on you because the metal's still hot. Red's gone away, now I can let go. Red's gone away, now I can let go. Red's gone away, now I can let go. Basically. I'm hoping, hoping where I've got it positioned, where I'm welding that down along the edge, I'm hoping when it comes time to grind it off that I can roll my grinder up there and get rid of most of the weld. That's what I'm hoping. You can picture if I had the metal coming out a little further, there would be a little bit of a gap going on between the sheet metal and the exhaust pipe and you would not be able to grind off all your weld without destroying the integrity of your weld. That was a big word for me this morning, wasn't it? Integrity. I know what it means though. Okay. 
Looks good. I can get that when it comes off. I'm gonna say we're applied there now. Yeah, we're applied there. You can see how it's all tight down there now. It's all good. Let's see if there's any heat. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty. Yeah, I can apply one more. Apply one down the center of each one. Holding it right on the center. Until the heat goes out and grabs the metal. Can I see that one? That way there, we know we've got penetration. Just kind of banging it. So if the heat wants to go somewhere, it doesn't know where to go. Not much heat at all, really. Most of the heat went to the flat stock, which is good. Alrighty. I'll turn this off for a second. Now we get a back fender to put on. Had to apply that first because the back fender is going down on top of that. Now we get our piece of metal right here hoping that I polished the right side and the reason being is um, there was a mark looks good nice and tight and right down there now turn the welder back on everything looks fantastic so I'll be able to get the back of that when we, I can get it off after I put the fender on. But like I say, the finished product will be when we take it off. We'll weld a lot of it up, what we can, where it's at. And then the finish will be... Now, just looking on both sides and see if I got it in the center of the exhaust. And I'm liking that. I'm going to hit this one right here. One tack, uh, you can move it. Two tacks, you're probably feeling pretty good about it. Get a little line going on there. Okay, come in. Yeah, sure. We're filming, but you're more than welcome to come in for me. Okay, just give me a second. So I'm saying I got it in place. I'm saying I got it in place, so I'm gonna tack it. And tack it right here. Fine time to notice from Fina. It, it, it won't bite. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You're more welcome to come in. You're more welcome to come in, I'm just doing this. You're more welcome to come in. Just gonna fold this down over this. Not sure if that's gonna fit that right, but we're soon gonna find out. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna do this. Let's hold that over there for a second. I'm going to tack that right there. And the reason being is, because I straightened it out when I put it there, now I wanna press this down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that. believe that's getting hot. That fits good. Awesome. I'm gonna come down here and whack this one on. Actually, I'll push that on later. It's tight all the way around. Good.
Yeah, what a... Push this one on tight. I'm gonna get my third arm for that. Tight and right. Tight and right. Alrighty. I'm gonna push this on tight. Nail it on this side. When I took that flat piece and like that, and then bent it over here and then rolled it down, it made it tighter because we stretched it going down over like that. So it does. Just out for a drive or is anything I help you with? No, I, I, over a few weeks ago, I remember about the anchors. Yeah. How'd you make out? I got that. I got some papers. Awesome. We might, just, we might as well just wait a minute. We'll talk about that here in a second. Yeah. Okay. But you're more welcome to hang out for a minute. I got one more fender to make for the other side. I'm going to use the pattern. I'm just going to make one more fender if you got time, if you want to wait. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Uh, what's that? Pause it. You can pause it? Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side. Uh, what I didn't show you on the other side, if we want to come around the other side. You think I was just doing one side? Uh, well, I went ahead and, and did this side. I got this side geared up. Now I'm going to put the fender on, on the back part of this. And then we'll just take a walk around and take a look at it. But I got one more fender to make. Now I want to see if the pattern that I made uh, will fit that and the pattern I made is up here I'm gonna take that and try it on that back fender I just got to take a look at it for a second first time seeing it together it's looking good happy very happy it's looking like a, a, a truck more complete truck I guess it is it looked good with uh, no fenders on it um, no running boards on it I think it looked fine but to be all in all on honesty I think it looks better now yeah, so let's check this one out I'm going to grab a couple of these. Put this in place. Got the same width. That's awesome. Anyway. We're a little shy. I can pull that ahead some. Nope, I want to keep it there. So I'm going to add half an inch. No, nope, I'm going to grab more than that. Three quarters of an inch, let's do it. Like the old saying goes, you'll never see both sides at the same time. Let's do another one. I'm going to wipe that off. Don't want to set that on that. Hoping that this line is here. Straight. Now, put that on there. Got to get our pattern laying out as nice as possible. That way there we get the nicest fit as possible. Straight this time. Straight this time. marker uh, I want this much longer and this is too much well then I can always trim it off Oh. 
Alrighty. Let's get my glasses on. I take my glasses off the other side, did I? Yeah, my gloves I did. Awesome. I like it. There's a lot of welding that's going to go on there. And I have a, a wonderful, wonderful lady, I'm, I'm sure, and two welders, I'm sure she would do one side and I would do the other. I'm sure of it. Not putting any pressure on, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, let's get this cut off. I have them. I'm allowed to put them on. It's only a little bit. Wasn't so lucky. Nope, I want to, whatever. Put this one back in. Might as well do the exact same thing we did to the other side. Polish that up.
Now, if it's too long, I'll just shear off the end, but we'll start on the running board. That way there, um, if it's too long, we'll cut it off at the end. So, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Get our welder over here. Gear that up. You all probably thought I was snoozing, eh? Come over here and get that side done. Whoop, whoop. If you don't know it, there's no grass that grows underneath my feet. <laughs> no grass. No grass. Now, I got a good looking thing going on right there. That looks good, looks fantastic. Tack it on. Probably should have tacked it there first. And the reason being, I said, when you tack something on, you want to be able to cut it off. I'd have a hard time getting a grinder in there and cut that off, would I not? I most certainly would. Let's tack it at this side this time. I'm just gonna tack it right here. Tack it on the other corner here. I should probably bend this down and see what's gonna happen before I start doing that. Oh, we're fantastic. No, Jolene's fantastic, but I'm going to nail this on over here. What I'm wanting is for sure, definitely want for sure, is the metal to be hitting in this, the metal be laying on the center of the exhaust. Looks good. I'm going to go right there. Now we're down. We're a little bit long up here. You see it's a little bit long. I'll have to cut that off, no doubt in my mind. Uh, I'm gonna get the third arm. I'm gonna get the one with the padding on it. Gonna have to probably make a bracket for uh, the rear fender to the box. Probably gonna have to do that. And that will be... Everything lay down tight, that's all. Yeah, push in on that. Good. Alrighty. Trying to let the red go away before I move. Everything's laying down nice and tight. Alrighty. 
You can see, if you come back here, sweetheart, you can see I'm fine up around here, but that's a little bit long because you can see how I can't push that down tight unless I bend that metal. So I'm just gonna take the zip cut and cut a little bit off that. Just made it a little bit long, that's all. And I would never want to start it there and then run it down to the front because it, it would have been hard to cut off. Where it's there, I can just take my zip cut and grind it right off the top. Turn that off for a second. Get a cord plugged in right over here. Just gonna run that back until the center of the... that down tight. Alrighty. Just gonna pull this welder out of Jolene's way for a second. Now we can just take a slow walk around it and uh, see the fruits of our labor. So now we've got a back fender, we've got running boards, splash apron, run, uh, front fender, headlights, front fender, running board, splash apron, and back fender. Uh, hood and two sides. Not sure what that took, but to me it, it's really looking, looks quite something. You wanna come over here and give a good visual this way, sweetheart? Exhaust running out the side, she got a flathead in here. I might even let the front end down for us. Let's let the front end down a little bit. The reason I didn't let the front end down yet, I didn't know if the wheels held air. But I wanna, I can let, leave the jack underneath of it for now. And I can just jack it up. And then I can let it down when the tires hit. And then I'll know that's far enough. And I haven't got the tires pumped up yet, so. There we go. That's basically what it looks like. We might put a wheel up in the back here. Not sure yet. Um, probably do that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll have to, we'll make some, maybe make some cutouts for the back wheel. Probably make, see where that can go up tight? Probably make that go up tight to the side of the truck like that. Maybe, maybe put a, uh, something on there to bolt it there. Well, maybe probably put the cutout down in the running board. So the wheel sits in the running board. And uh, we'll go there. Because if I get it on it's close to the truck, it's not in the center of the back fender. But we do have enough room on the running board to get that wheel down there. So we could put a little uh, sinkhole in the running board to hold the wheel. I'd like to put that in there. Stop it. Bump, 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 bump. Just want that for the visual. That's all I'm doing it for is the visual. All right, everybody. If you like, throw a like in. Uh, if you like, you might as well share. And if you can get somebody to subscribe, make the channel grow. That'd be just, just awesome. And uh, we appreciate everybody coming back. Uh, we're getting the, the rust put off it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll be here tomorrow. You come on back. We'll do something else. That's for sure.